trade volatility as an asset class, which is one of the newest ways people are using options. So to begin, we're going to talk about fundamentals of option pricing. So I've kind of got my little way of describing what options are, and I'm going to share that with you, and hopefully it's going to help you remember what premium is and what these components are. So option premium is really nothing more than thinking about probability of an outcome. Okay, what that number really represents is the likelihood that your option is going to either settle in the money or out of the money. So what we have here, these are inputs from Black Shell's pricing model. It is one of the most popular pricing models to price theoretical option premium. So here's how I look at this. I look at options as a race. Okay, we have a race. We have a finish line. We have a runner. We have the time that the race is going to be over. This is not the kind of a race that you can run a marathon and it can take you a day or two to finish. This is a race that has a start time and an end time. And then you've got a runner that has speed. So when we look at these exercise price, this is our strike price. I want you to visualize a finish line, right? There is a ribbon across the finish line. That's where the runner has to get, okay? We have time to expiration. This is the time the race ends. The price of the underlying asset is the runner. This is the runner in the race that has to get across that finish line before the race is over. Volatility, and this is kind of a different way to think about vol. Vol is speed. Vol is the speed that runner is going at to cross that finish line before the race is over. We're not really going to discuss much about rates. Um, rates are pretty much irrelevant um, regarding shorter dated options. Uh, and especially when we're in a low rate environment, it's pretty much inconsequential. So we're not going to get off target and talk much 